I think that, that just having a, the, a background in welding helped me out significantly when I went to go take my CWI oh, yeah. exam, just for the, especially part A, you know, yeah. like your standard terms and definitions, mm -hmm. you know, the welding symbols, the different types of inspection techniques, because yep. I've seen that on the job site. Because I mean, mm -hmm. like when I went to go do my CWI seminar, there was a lot of folks in there that they didn't have that hands. So like, you're trying to explain to them what SMAW is and they're, oh, mm -hmm. oh okay, stick welding. No, not anymore, it's <laughs> SMAW. But like exactly. all that information that, you know, we if you don't have that, you know, that, that firsthand knowledge, like right. if you just meet the better minimum requirements because you've got, you know, a, a bachelor's degree in a welding related field and you walk in there and you've never seen welding, you've never touched welding. Right, you just model it up You're on a computer, probably not right? gonna stand a chance taking that exam. No, I had a ton of guys in there that had that issue. They're like, I've never welded before, I've been around it, but yeah, they, they're like, these terms aren't, I'm not, they're not clicking to me and I'm, I'm having issues. And I was like, oh, I thought I was in a good spot. And even then, it's a really hard test. Even with that good spot I had, that baseline I had, still a really, really hard test. You gotta study a lot.